That's Waylon and Willie joined us about a year ago. We were in need of some guard dogs. So Waylon, he's the bigger one. He's dominant, but a teddy bear. He's a softie. Willie, kind of wiry. He's mischievous. He's the one that, hey, come on, let's break out. Come on, brother. They're two different dogs. We've had multiple trucks stolen, uh, ATVs, vandalism, chemicals, farm chemicals stolen, diesel, gas. Finally, the sheriff said, hey, you know, you might, since you got a fence now, you might think about getting some dogs. Trisha, the executive director of Tillery County Farm Bureau, is a big dog person, and so I reached out to her and said, hey, I, I need a dog. And she says, nope, you need two dogs. <laughs> My husband and I became their foster family, and we named them Waylon and Willie, the outlaw brothers. And they lived at our home in Exeter for about five months before we made this match for Zach Stuller. They're nocturnal. They bark at every noise you can possibly imagine all night long. They will definitely make this their domain, and they will run off anyone that is not supposed to be there. They run free and deter bad guys. If they don't know who you are at, at you know, midnight, I mean, it does, I wouldn't want to jump the fence and see what's in there. Um, and they're big, you know, I mean, they're, they're over 150 pounds. You cannot argue that these are not essential ag personnel to High Sierra Ag's operation. The fact they won, I think it's because they're unique, maybe because there's two of them, they're brothers, they're rescue dogs. Some may say they're not, they don't really do anything, but they do protect farms. They do, I mean, they deter burglars and bad guys and they do a really good job of it. And uh, we've gone over a year without having that done. It's pretty good for me. If you know of a canine worthy of the farm dog title, submit an entry online at cfbf.com.